Morning guys, so we're going to do a day in a life of Tia being pregnant and eating. Um, breakfast consists of uh, turkey bacon, some purple onion, uh, mushrooms, avocado, eggs on a bun slash bagel. Uh, Shane is on this, um, I don't know, he, he's really loving these like buns that we get from Publix at the moment. So he, so he requests the buns and I uh, eat my good old faithful bagels. I should tell you that I haven't been tracking anything and Shane's not following any particular macro plan. So everything is just going off how much I think is going to uh, be sufficient enough. What I like to do is just get sauteed a little bit. Have you got that on camera? First trimester, when I didn't realize I was pregnant, scrambled eggs was the only thing that I felt like were I had an appetite for. When we're in Australia, every breakfast consists of scrambled eggs. Even I have sometimes scrambled eggs for lunch or even dinner. I have no idea why. But it was just something that was the only thing that felt like it was satisfying for me. What's this hot sauce? So this is good old faithful tough spicy sauce we like to treat ourselves with. Truff? Tough. Tough? No, you didn't say tough the first time. Yeah, I did say tough the first time. Makes you tough because it's spicy. Do you feel hungry yet? Like when you're eating, like is there more enjoyment out of eating now? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely enjoy eating because I'm, I'm eating because hey? I want to eat versus I have to eat or I need to get a certain amount of calories. Well, I just have to wipe my nose a bit spicy. Thanks for that, hey? Not often we see her cooking. Oh wait, did we say that? Look, we- It's often that she cooks. Like. It's fair to say though, the last couple of months I've been trying to be a bit better on it. Yeah, let's look at the camera. Who's the cook in the house, Shane? You are. Yes, everyone in the world knows that Shane has, has in the past been the cook in the household. But, in the last two months, I have been the cook in the household. She is? Yeah. 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 Domesticated. So, uh, just got done with some house chores. It's really crazy, you know, obviously everyone has chores throughout their life, but um, because I've been able to have a lot more time at home where I don't have to be at the gym training all the time, I'm actually able to, you know, put some effort in and, and get these chores done. And they're a little bit mind numbing, but they're also really fun to just let the imagination just go and not think about the task at hand and just be more relaxed. So I'm just gonna have this um, meal. Show that it's not half, that it's more than halfway done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, just to say washing up, efficiency is key right here, guys. I've added some pineapple, some granola, and the last bit of my uh, yogurt. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not eating a whole tub of yogurt. And I'll have this just before I head to the gym. So we're here at the gym and I have some cut up apple. Just, you know, practicing for when the baby uh, starts eating solids and everything. Then my staple peanut butter and banana wrap. It doesn't look super appealing right now, I know. Are you packing today? 
well, Shane, Shane also, I have the pack for Shane too. And, you know, full transparency, I cut these up because he's like, oh, it hurts to eat a whole apple. And I was like, hurts? I said, would you like me to cut them up for you? So, wife of the year so far. Um, I actually have two for him, one for me. So, you can, you can tell who's actually already eaten this. Then, good old faithful lollies. Um, they're healthier. Made with real fruit, apparently. So, uh, you know, you, you can believe everything that you see on the packets, right? And then, you got a, I've got a, mu a muesli bar or like a Nutri-Grain muesli bar. Um, also have my little travel um, electrolyte pack. So this is my element. So my go-to in this packet used to be watermelon, but don't tell watermelon this, but now it's raspberry. I, I just, I had so much of it leading into the games last summer that I just, I almost made myself sick on it because uh, I was just constantly having the, the watermelon flavor. Um, and if I want a break, I change it up to citrus as well. So I had those throughout the day. Shane also steals them from me, so I have to have a multiple amount. And they're just like tiny little snacks that I'll have during the day. At the moment, we the microwave isn't actually working here at the gym, so um, I do typically will bring in like a meal, so like leftovers from dinner. So tonight, obviously, I have the stir fry, but last night we had like a shepherd's pie. Uh, chicken shepherd's pie so um, I would have had that and I just warm it up at the gym before or after my workout depending on how I'm feeling and um, you know like that ties me over but today I had to improvise because I don't really want to have like a cold shepherd's pie dinner I wanted to make a beef stir fry um, these are I like to go and do a, a stir fry at least once a week just because I'm not allowed to put in all the vegetables without Shane questioning it. I have broccoli, I have some carrot, I also have some um, celery and I have some um, capsicum. The capsicum is oh. a fruit but is it the same as a bell pepper? Yeah, well you call them peppers right? Yeah, capsicum. Sweet and chili pepper. And then once I've chopped up the onion, the garlic and the ginger, I start to cook them up in the pan. Then I add the meat and make cook that through. Then I'll add all the vegetables with it. Found that I really actually enjoy cooking and you know, it's definitely a time where I can just like chop away. I don't have to focus on too many things and I just like let the mind wander. Now, I was reading in a book the other day that just plain mundane things or, or chores can be really helpful to, to clear the mind and, and just let the, the mind run wild on random thoughts. And that's, that's how I feel has been happening while, while I've been cooking. Or I might have like the TV going and be watching just a episode of something I think the other day I had new girl on which was funny so it's just it's actually been really nice just chilling out I just don't enjoy rushing the process so if we have to be somewhere I hope it's something super simple like spaghetti bolognese where I just have to cut up an onion and some garlic and then you know cook the meat So this week I'm using beef, but last week I did a chicken stir fry and um, throughout the week the way I choose my proteins is I just think of, you know, beef. We, we like all kinds of protein, but I'm more drawn to red meat. We don't have a lot of pork, even though that's like a staple in the Filipino culture. A 
and then I let it simmer and it will be ready to eat. This is a very, very basic dessert, but a thing that I've done in the past where it's literally coconut oil, some 60% uh, cocoa uh, chocolate chip bits, and uh, coconut flakes. Healthy, it's a healthier option than what it is, but it's also nice and satisfying and something sweet. But I'll pour the chocolate spoonful of oil. As you can see, I clearly am not counting macros at the moment. Definitely looking forward to this tonight. And of course you can treat yourself to the uh, pan if you wish. Obviously you can add salt if you like, but I just like to sprinkle some on the top. If you don't like salt, just don't worry about doing it. It's your uncle. Voila. Who's that name? Bob's your uncle. I don't know. It's just saying back home where it's like, I literally have no idea what that saying means actually. <laughs> but it, when I say it, I mean, it's that easy, you know, like, that's, it's all done. I have no idea. It doesn't even make any sense. That's a good question, I should Google it.